Kat Dealey had a complicated love life before she eventually settled down with her famous friend Patrick Keelty. Famed this morning presenter, Kat Dealey had quite a roller coaster of a love life before she found stability with husband Patrick Keelty. Prior to walking down the aisle with Patrick, Kat experienced some heartache along the way. Today, it has been officially announced that Kat and co host Ben Shepherd will become permanent fixtures on this morning. This news follows an array of speculation that these two would be stepping into the shoes of former hosts Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby. Although reports suggested Kat was keen to decline the job offer, the Mirror clarified that her perspective has changed. Couples in the TV world don't come much cuter than Kat and Patrick. They first crossed paths while working together on Fame Academy and have now been happily married for nearly 12 years. It wasn't love at first sight. Their romance only flowered a decade later, after a whirlwind courtship that saw them get hitched after just nine months. Kat's journey to true love wasn't without its bumps, though. She endured heartbreak with both her first husband and her actor ex-boyfriend. Now 53, Patrick assured that during the early days, nothing went on between them. They were both involved with other people when they initially met. Yet he did confess there was a slight we vibe there. Despite Kat's five-year marriage to PR business owner Mark Whelan, she and Patrick remained good friends throughout. After her divorce in 2006, the SMTV presenter moved from Birmingham to LA for a fresh start as the host of So You Think You Can Dance on American TV. She started dating Jack Houston, who starred in the third Twilight film Eclipse in September 2008. However, their romance ended after two years. At the age of 33, her spokesperson confirmed that she decided to break up with a then 27-year-old actor due to work commitments. In a later chat with Red Magazine, the presenter shared that she was happy being single after a tough time and revealed how a relationship with an unnamed man left her feeling like a shell of her former self. Remembering one of her best ever birthdays that changed everything, Kat told the Late Late Show's Ryan Tabritti in 2020, There was a night where it was the day before my birthday. I can't even remember what birthday it was now. It was 30-something. He called me and he spoke to me on the phone. He said, Oh, what are you doing for your birthday? I'm just ringing to say happy birthday. I said, Oh, we're going to the Beverly Hills Hotel. We're just going to have a late brunch. It's going to be very civilized. It's a shame you're not here, otherwise you could come. At that time, Patrick was in a pub in County Down, but he rushed to the airport to catch a 7 a.m. flight to LA for the next day. At her birthday brunch, Kat admitted she nearly fell off her chair when Patrick walked in, confessing at this moment she slightly fell in love with him. Speaking to Closer after the wedding, she said, Patrick went and tried the food and did all that. I never even saw the place where I got married before I got married. That's how uninvolved I was. She did have one wish for the special day, however, asking that the guests dressed up to the nines. I get to dress up and have really special occasions all the time, so to me, that was the most exciting thing to happen, she shared. After their wedding, the couple welcomed sons, Milo, eight, and James, six. Kat and her husband, Patrick, like to keep their family life out of the spotlight. However, Kat sometimes posts cute pictures of her kids on Instagram. Last year, she told The Ellen Show a funny story about how her children don't like wearing clothes. She made everyone laugh by saying, it's fine now, but not when they are 17 and doing it in supermarkets. They were shopping at the Century City Mall in Lay when FBI agents told everyone to hide because someone with a gun was there. Kat shared with you magazine in 2020. They shut down the center. I got a call from Patty saying they're taking us out through the fire exits, but nobody can get to their car. 
If we walk to a junction, can you come and get us? He wanted to keep Milo calm, so I didn't understand the enormity of what was happening. The mum of two remembered a scary scene with helicopters, fans, firemen, and SWAT teams while she was out driving. She shared with the news how terrifying it was, and that fear made them decide to move back home. She also felt worried when she checked out American schools for her child Milo because they teach kids what to do if there's a shooter around. The danger suddenly becomes a reality, she explained. 